Good evening, everyone. States across the country say that they are seeing an increase in potentially fake income tax returns that are being filed. Just state returns, not federal. And so far, Wisconsin says it has not seen any widespread fraud for the small number of 2014 returns filed so far. But those state tax officials say they are on alert. Fox 11's Laura Smith on the story this evening. And Laura, part of a larger potentially nationwide problem. That's right, Tom. This all follows an announcement that Intuit, for now, is not filing state returns nationwide through its TurboTax software. The company says it appears people's information is being stolen elsewhere and then being used to file returns. And now officials here in Wisconsin are taking extra steps. Local tax preparers say they've been getting calls after news about possible tax fraud issues going on across the nation. Concern from clients just hearing that it's out there and, and they've used this Intuit software before and wondering if their information is safe. Intuit, the company behind popular tax preparation software TurboTax, says state agencies have reported a rise in filings that are using stolen personal information. We definitely um, are going to be very cautious about, you know, if there's any if we have any returns that come back rejected from the State Department at all, we'll be sure to follow up to make sure there wasn't any identity theft issues that happened. State Revenue Department officials say they're also on high alert. We haven't seen that widespread issue here in Wisconsin. We certainly are looking for it. And at this point, we're going to be looking at a lot more re returns, essentially raising that criteria to help protect against that. Spokesperson Stephanie Marquis says the department will screen more than 60,000 returns filed over the weekend and this week. That's in addition to the existing identity protection program, which matches tax return information against confidential criteria to weed out fraudulent filers. And if it doesn't look like it's you, we're going to send you a quiz or ask you for some documentation just to verify that before the refund goes out the door. The State Department of Revenue is also trying to help protect taxpayers who haven't filed their return yet with a new website app. That app lets you check to see if your 2014 tax return has been filed by someone else. If you haven't filed and it says we don't have anything, you're good. If you haven't filed and it says we have something, you definitely want to give us a call. The state says the enhanced monitoring may slow processing and refund time. That affects us because all of our taxpayers that come in, um, obviously, especially if they're getting refunds, they want that money sooner rather than later. We want to make sure that that refund is going to the right person and not, not a hacker. So please give us a little bit of patience. You can learn more about the Department of Revenue's ID verification program and how to report suspected tax fraud on our website, fox11online.com. Just head to the news link section that's on the right-hand side of our homepage.